Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. This is me, Sumaira Salim. You're watching this TV USA. Let's have a look at the Kashmir news. Kashmiris living on both sides of the line of control and across the world will celebrate self-determination day tomorrow with a renewed resolve to continue their freedom struggle to its logical conclusion. All-party Huryat Conference has appealed to celebrate this day. Protests, release, seminar and the other programs will be organized in Akupah, Jammu and Kashmir, Azad Kashmir, Pakistan and all major capitals of the world to remind the United Nations to implement its resolution to resolve the Kashmir conflict and help the Kashmiris to free the them from Indian oppression and tyranny. The United Nations Security Council passed a resolution on 5th January 1949 recognizing the right to Kashmiris to determine their own future through a United Nations surprise referendum. The unresolved Kashmir dispute has become a nuclear flashpoint between Pakistan and India that could unfold into the entire region. The resolution passed on 5th January 1949 provides the basis of the resolution of the Kashmir conflict. The but India traditional integration attitude is the biggest obstacle in the resolution of the Kashmir issue. Vakar Rasulwani, President of Jammu and Kashmir, President Conference Committee in the illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir of India, strongly criticized the Modi government's claims of improving the situation in the occupying area, saying that the facts are the opposite while talking to journalists in Jammu and Vakar Rasulwani, referring to the Rajori district, said that the killing of the civilians in Rajori is intolerable and they should be condemned no matter how much. He said that their claims have been proved to be false. Vakar Rasul said that the civilian death in Rajori were actually the result of intelligence. It is a proof of failure. He said that a non-gunman first opened fire and civilians on Sunday evening and later on Monday morning there was an explosion at the same place, which is clear proof that it is a failure of intelligence. Kashmiri freedom activist Bashir Ahmadwani, popularly known as Khaki Nasrullah, passed away today in Muzaffarabad. Bashir Ahmadwani was ill for the past several weeks and undergoing treatment at the combined military hospital in Muzaffarabad. His funeral prayers will be offered today at Nadol Hockey Ground in Muzaffarabad. Bashir Ahmadwani, who belongs to Gandharbal district of Jammu and Kashmir, under the illegal occupation of India, he fought against the illegal occupation of Jammu and Kashmir by India. He had to migrate to Pakistan after what was continuously harassed by the Indian soldier because of his commitment to the freedom struggle of Kashmir. Yesterday, the leader of Hurriyat Conference expressed deep concern and sorrow and regret over the death of Bashir Ahmadwani. A special court in New Delhi has granted bail on Manandar, a photojournalist from India's illegal occupied Jammu and Kashmir, who was arrested in a false case in October 2021. The Association for Protection of Civil Rights, which fought for Manandar in the NIA court, said that in a statement that its effort ensured Manan's bail. There are Narula, Tamanna, Pankaj and Priya Watts represented Manandar in Delhi's Patiala House Court and secured Tam Bail and was arrested under various provisions of the India's Panel Court. He is currently detained in the infamous Tihar Jail in New Delhi. That's all for now. Keep watching this TV USA. Log into our website, thisTVUSA.com.